Tony's Topics. Tony's Topics. Welcome to Tony's Topics. My name's Tony, and here are my topics. Getting into the NBA review, and what do I want to talk about? OKC's win last night. Yeah, 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 Westbrook is back. What's the problem with that? Scotty Brooks didn't learn from it? So, the whole time Durant and Westbrook have been injured, I'm thinking Scotty Brooks is going to learn from this. Hey, he's going to realize that he's got other guys on his team that can contribute. Hey, all of a sudden, Reggie Jackson became a 20-point player, over, averaging over 20 points per game, and assisting the ball. Wow. Could it be that OKC has a new point guard, and then when Durant and Westbrook come back, he's finally going to play Westbrook as a shooting guard, Durant as a small forward, and then OKC's going to take it all? Nope. As soon as Westbrook comes back in his very first game, what does Scotty Brooks do? He benches Reggie Jackson? Oh, my gosh. Oh, oh. Uh, now, with all the injuries that OKC has taken, I would have thought by now Scotty Brooks would have figured it out that, you know, you need to look at some of your other players. And maybe he thought, hey, all we did without those two guys was lose. No, that wasn't the case. What you were really doing was building a team that didn't involve Durant and Westbrook. Yes, you were losing games, but you were building a team and you were letting other people show that they've got to shine too. Okay, like, uh, who is it? Uh, Percy? Uh, or whatever his name is, Perry, or whatever that guy's name is. He got injured a couple weeks ago, but he showed that he can do some stuff. Jeremy Lamb showed he could do some stuff. Steve Adams, you know, he's clearly, you know, he was already having it, and, you know, he was already starting and stuff. You know, Serge Ibaka got back to getting, like, closer to 17 points, 10 rebounds a game. All I'm saying is, instead of letting Westbrook come back in and take over, you should have just let Westbrook come into his position at shooting guard. Because, yeah, Westbrook will pass the ball. He'll see some openings. But he is not a point guard. That's not what Westbrook comes to do. He comes to be Jordan. That's who he is. It's who he's always been. And yet for years and years I see OKC come close but no cigar. They come close every year to the championship. But they never, ever win it because they don't put Westbrook in the right spot. If a man is a killer, let him be a killer. Stop trying to make him be a passer when he's a shooter. I, I mean, it, what? What? Oh, and you're going to say, oh, but he got eight assists. But let's just look at real fact, right? Mm -mm. How many points did Reggie Jackson get last night? Ten. A guy who's been averaging 20 points while Westbrook is gone now is back to getting ten points. Serge Ibaka didn't break 15, did he? No. Is it really that great? That Westbrook gets 32 if the entire rest of the team does worse? The only person that Westbrook will submit to is Kevin Durant. And when Westbrook was injured last year and it was Kevin Durant and the rest of the team, that's when we first noticed Reggie Jackson in the first place. Because Serge Ibaka was getting like 20 points a night, Durant was getting 30, and Reggie Jackson was pulling 17 and assisting the ball. If... Westbrook does not get put in the shooting guard position. I'm going to tell you right now, Durant can come back, but it still won't matter. As long as Westbrook is the point guard, OKC will never win. They can't win. Put him in shooting guard, let him play like Dwayne Wade, let him catch his ball, and let him take over. I mean, goodness gracious, Jordan was a shooting guard. What's with these guys wanting to be ball hogs at point guard instead of being, you know, weapons of mass destruction at shooting guard? Kobe Bryant's a shooting guard. He's got five rings. Jordan's a shooting guard. He had six. What's going on? Move Westbrook to shooting guard while you still can. That's my time. Tony's Topics.